for a while now, Old Mate's been running Zenthiel Server, and it runs my entire network here at home. I've got a PDC running, DC controller and Samba file share, DACP server, DNS, firewall, uh, VPNs ready to run, the whole kit and caboodle. And it works beautifully. But I am on an older Zentiel. I'm only on 5.13. This video, we're going to upgrade from 5.13 to Zentiel 6. G'day everyone, thank you for tuning in. I don't know whether to call this system building or system upgrading for this video, but as you know, I'm a massive rap for Zentil Server. I love it, it's brilliant. And as you know, it runs my network here, Samba file sharing, uh, FQDN, DC, DACP, DNS, firewall, um, VPNs just about ready to go, the whole ethos of everything. But I am on an older Zentiel operating system. I'm only running 5.13. And Zentiel 6 is now out. Now, Silent Reboot asked me if I was still on the old one, considering Zentiel 6 is out, and I am. Now, as you know, with especially with my server operating systems, I like to keep them up to date. I don't like them lagging behind. And so... What I'm going to do is we're going to go out to the workshop and run the upgrade from Zentiel 5.1.3 to 5.1, well, sorry, Zentiel 5.1.3 to Zentiel 6. Now, if it all fouls up, okay, I have a complete backup of it. Over my entire career, one thing I have always done, especially with servers, is before you upgrade the operating system and the, or and or the hardware I should add too you must back up because if it all fouls up in your face and comes crashing down around your ears in the dead set fed income department you have a backup whether it's a restoration backup so you completely restore from a from a backup full image backup of course or it's just a configuration backup You've got to back your systems up before you run your upgrades. Again, whether it be hardware, software, or both. So I've already up, um, backed up everything. So I've got a full config backup. If it does go south, I can just restore from the backup. All right, it's the easiest way of doing it. So let's head out to the workshop and upgrade from Zentiel 513 to Zentiel 6. All right, so we're going to run the upgrade. Let's have a quick sticky peek at the release notes first, just to make sure that there's nothing there that uh, could cause me any chaos. Here's the release notes. Oh. Upgrading. Ah, okay, so I actually have to please remember to back up your deployment before proceeding with the upgrade. Okay, here's the APT source. So I need to add that to the repo. Okay, let's see what else we've got in here that is of port importance, nothing. So I need to make a note of that repo and add it into the repositories. Okay, all right, well, hang on, let me do that. All right, repo added. Let's uh, let's upgrade it. Upgrading to Zentil six. Okay. All right. 
while this uh, goes through what it's got to go through, uh, we will uh, just stick with this for a little bit. Whoa. That doesn't fit in the screen properly, does it? There we go. Okay. All right. Well, uh, we'll we'll continue this upgrade, and then we'll come back and see what it does. All right. Well, old mate's internet's running like a dog at the moment. Um, this is slow <laughs> very very slow to um to download all this stuff you can see there i mean the other half's not doing much this should be coming down a lot faster than it is and it is very slow so this could take quite a while to run the upgrade uh, path which is obviously less than ideal for me because um, I don't know why the internet is so slow uh, this morning um, but it is I mean this should be hammering along at 55 megabit but it's uh, a little bit on the slow side so I'm not sure what's going on all right well we'll come back when and if we get any further all right well it is now installing all the upgrades um i would assume we'll have to do a uh full restart on it um and hopefully it doesn't break <laughs> although we'll have to see how that all pans out I still am bewildered why it took so long to download. I mean, obviously, my uploads at the moment are a hell of a lot faster than my downloads. I know that. So, we'll have to see how this all goes. But it is actually now installing everything. So, and you got to remember, this isn't the fastest server either. I mean, it is only uh, running 8 gig of RAM. So, but Zentil's light. As a server operating system... Zentil is actually quite light, which is what I like about it. Um, a very minimal desktop, and I mean, technically, I don't even, I, I didn't even need to install a desktop, but I did just because I prefer to work in a GUI environment. I'm just hoping it doesn't error out on me halfway through the upgrade path, otherwise, I've got a major problem. <laughs> Anyway, we'll continue the upgrade and I'll come back when when we get any closer to uh, either a restart or a reboot or whether or not I actually have to do it at all and it just comes up. I think we may have a bit of a problem here. Um, I've only just noticed this, but it now claims I've got broken packages before I upgrade. Now... I actually shouldn't have any busted packages at all because everything was updated before the upgrade. So I don't I don't know whether Zentil spat the dummy because the packages are currently upgrading and it thinks they're busted or whether or not something went pear-shaped just before I ran the upgrade path. Um I have to see what's going on there. This is still trying to run the upgrade script at the moment. Um, I don't know how much longer it's going to take. Uh, I'm hoping it's done. See, it's 20 past nine now, or 19 past nine, near enough, damn it, at 20, pa 20 past nine in the morning. But you can see there, you have broken packages installed. Now, that was not there before I upgraded the, the, before I ran the upgrade path. So either they've busted and it's spat the dummy now, or when I did the download backup, something broke. But I've only just noticed that, so fingers crossed that it doesn't go all south on me. All right, we'll come back when and if we get any further. All right, well, 10 minutes later, 
And we're actually starting to set stuff up slowly. Um, I'm a little bit worried about this. You can see it here. Busted packages. So, although now it's saying something different. What's it saying that? No updates. Nevertheless, some packages require a reboot. I think what ended up happening is this thing got screwed by thinking it was busted. Jeez, I tell you, you want to be careful about that, wouldn't you? All right, well, obviously I'm going to need to update or at least reboot the thing. There's my SQL. So I can actually install no track into this by default if I want to. And I probably will put no track in it. You can see my SQL server. So I may end up putting no track in it. I think we're nearly done. Yeah, upgrade process completed successfully. That's not bad. Nearly half an hour to do it. Oh no, still more to do. Hmm. Schweppes. I don't want too much more to do. Hmm. New version of config. Just disable or static unit not running. What's that? Bind PK CSLL service. IP down. Or a static unit not running, not starting it. Okay. It goes Python Talak. Samba's going in. So SMB's in, this is what I need because obviously I've got the DC and Samba file sharing running. Here's Kerberos 5. Shipped updated version, keeping old config file as default. Oh, I didn't want it to do that. Got some warnings there. I'm hoping this will save a log. Well, theoretically, it should because if it goes pear shaped, I need to go through the log to find out what went south. All right, well, we'll see what happens when we come back. Well, there's, uh, there's the firmware going in. And it's updating the initial RAM file system, 415039 generic. Four one five O thirty eight generic. Yeah, I am I am actually on the old one because I think we're up to four one eight now. There's the base. Oh, hang on. That's five one. That's five one one. That's five one three. Four one three oh thirty seven. That must be five point one. Five point one. Five point one one. Five point one three. Why have I got so many? That's not right. Oh no, that mate, that's recovery. Duh, well done, old mate, you idiot. Okay. Oh god. I should have known that. That was stupid of me. <laughs> oh well. There's Firefox 6302 going in, which is obviously the web browser that is embedded within within Zentil. Why is it keeping that as an old default? Whoa, whoa. Yeah, okay. You don't want to be in a hurry doing this, let me tell you. 
you really don't want to be in a hurry. With the Cron Daily stuff. I tell you what I will be doing, if this does actually back, reboot with no problem, um, the first thing I'll do, there goes my phone, the first thing I will do is download another config backup and then back up the actual system again. This is in Ubuntu Desktop, Zentil Core, LXDE Core, LXDE Open Box, X Screensaver, which I don't use. All right, well, we'll hopefully get a bit further and we'll come back. All right, I'm getting a little bit concerned at the moment. It's been three minutes. And if we have a look in, where are we? Down there. So there's the server and the hard drive's not doing a lot. Now, the last time I ran an upgrade, which is the first ever time I did Zentiel, it got to this and the whole thing spat the dummy. I'm hoping this is not the case. Because if it is the case, then I am literally going to basically tell Zentiel that I am not going to use it or I'm going to have to wind back to the R1. See, the hard drive's just, I think it's just polling. It is just polling. It's not actually doing anything. I mean, the two nicks up, the hard drive's just polling. So, I'm hoping it's worked. It should have. All right, we'll give it a few more minutes and come back. All right, well, it's now nearly 25 past 10. This thing is still sitting here. I'm now going out. So, um, I'm going to be gone for about two and a half hours. Hopefully when I get back, this has moved. Otherwise, I've got a horrible feeling. We'll see what happens when I get back in a couple of hours. Alrighty. Well, I've just got home. As you can see, it's 20 to 3 now, Thursday afternoon. It's rebooted. I'm now on Zentil 6. And uh, it seems all right. Um, let's see whether or not we've actually got interwebs. Yeah, we've got interwebs. So there we go. So I've now upgraded to Zentiel 6. And uh, everything's almost running. The antivirus is running, which is good. Certification authority is offline, but that's because VPN's disabled. So... I'm actually pretty happy. It uh, it has worked, and I don't have to restore from a configuration backup, which is fantastic, <laughs> really fantastic. Um, but there we are. So old mate's now on Zentil six. Um, I just came in literally before I started recording and checked out whether it was working, and it is Zentil six. No updates. Five min oh, I see. It's only been up for five minutes, so it's literally only just rebooted not long before I got home. So there we are. I've updated to Zentiel 6. Um, I still don't know what went south. I really don't know what went wrong with the um, with it taking so long to do the Cron dailies, but it's done. It's all sorted, so we're good to go. Zentiel 6 is now here at the Backyard Tech Channel. Have a good one, guys. Cheers.